here we are. I've I've been quarantined for a long. I'm going to. I touch. I touch this ridiculous. Look at. This is the worst time <laughs> to have. To look. Look at this virus trap that I have on on my. Face. Pretty much. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right now. So I get COVID in this ridiculous. Look how big this mustache is. By the way, I haven't even that's, touched that's this. That's wonderful. Wow. <laughs> this thing is just. It's so absurd and ridiculous. You're ready um, to be a pirate. <laughs> yes. So, uh, so I I get COVID in my mustache, and then I and then I'm uh, and then I'm breathing through my nose, and I breathe it in. That that's what we're worried about, right? We're we're not worried about someone getting a piece of fruit from the grocery store, biting into a piece of fruit, and COVID going into your stomach and getting it. We're not. So, so we are like, it's still advisable. It's always been advisable to, to rinse fruit. So mm -hmm. don't, there were people, there were, there were reports of people like, <laughs> Nina Pfefferman says, don't. I don't need to rinse my fruit. Right. It is always advisable to, to rinse produce. Yeah. It just, you're taking pesticides off of the surface, but you're also taking microbial communities off of the surface. Um, you, uh, but, but like, don't, don't go bleach your fruit. Don't wash your fruit with so with detergent. You will make yourself sick. Humans are not meant to eat detergent. Um, but but uh, we are not worried about you eating COVID. In fact, it, I wouldn't advise this. But but given what we know about COVID, you probably could drink something that has active COVID in it, yeah. and it would be okay. The problem, though, is if you happen to choke on, like, if you happen to have a, an air glitch that causes you to cough from drinking. Then oh, you, then the wrong type. And that oh, would be very wow. bad. Wow. Oh, I didn't even think about that. The nightmare of the wrong type situation. Right. That's how. You, oh. Do, like, we do this without thinking. We clear our throats as we're eating all the time. We sort of just go <coughs> and like that, just to to clear our throats, and then that I does. thought this. <laughs> I thought this conversation was going to it was going to make me feel better yeah, no, about life. Good. The next time I have a wrong pipe move, oh, I'm gonna no, worry. No, but the answer is you're fine. So, so my, my curious advice about about fruit, and I actually I said this on a call with my family the other day. Which, she, by the way, microbial community sounds way too pleasant. Are you kidding? Microbial communities are amazing. There are these <laughs> lovely coexisting different bacteria that some of them right. that assist each other in growing, but there's the whole ecosystems. Fantastic thing. Absolutely. Biofilms, bi microbial biofilms. When there's enough bacterial growth that they start forming actual layers that are impermeable to certain com like, oh, microbial communities are the bomb. We should all like it, they're wonderful. <laughs> 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 okay, um, you you were saying your family. You so yeah, the, so it's tongue in cheek because I also don't expect my family to be snorting cocaine. But my advice was don't snort cocaine off unwashed fruit. <laughs> if you're if you have to snort cocaine off of your fruit, rinse it first. Um, yeah. but, but like that's that's what we're worried about at this point. We really are worried about introducing COVID into the respiratory system. So the don't touch your face also is you know don't get live virus on your mustache because you're going to keep inhaling part of your mustache and, and aren't aren't there more ace2 receptor uh, uh, receptors in the nose as as well that that are yeah. well, that are targets I, yeah so so there are different densities of of the receptors that we think make you susceptible to catching covid definitely in the respiratory system also not for nothing in in tear ducts um so that's also don't touch your face don't rub your eyes oh that's I'm but fine with the not even, touching the eyes. Uh, look, again, if you're if you're washing your hands pretty yeah. regularly, then so like I'm most of my my days I am I see nobody other than my husband and I'm in my house unless I unless I'm so I do I wash my hands after I bring in the mail, but then honestly I'm not worried about touching my face right now. I will mm -hmm. shamelessly rub my eyes or like when I'm nervous I tend to chew my lip. I will, while yeah. working on math, absolutely be like, hmm, which is technically not a good thing to do. Um, but if I'm, but I, the virus is not coming in on surface. I, I'm not worried that if I had lunch and I didn't 
wash the outside of my banana when I peeled it, if I wash my hands afterwards, I'm not worried. I'm no longer panicking about what am I introducing. Right. Um, but it is true that your nose, your mouth, your eyes, even your ears, but you have enough protection in your ears. They all drain into a system that connects to your respiratory system. Introducing live virus into that is not a great plan. Mm. Um, but we're not right now. We don't think touching surfaces is very dangerous.